Our Lord encourages us today to ask, to ask many, many things of him. When we ask good things, of course, he wants to, he wants to help us. He wants to give us many, many, many good things. And it can be the case. If we do not ask, then you do not receive. If you do not knock on the door, then you'll never get to go in. For us, uh, there's many petitions, there's many people we want to pray for, there's many intentions for ourselves, for growth and in virtue and holiness and uh, for ourselves, but also for other people, for stuff that's going on in, 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 in the world, of course, for many, many things. And we pray and we do ask, right? And maybe at home and in our personal prayer, we do that. But also, it's an important part of the Mass, of the Mass is that we ask God for many things, many, many things. And even we're encouraged, to, I'm reading this awesome book, The Hidden Treasure of the Mass by St. Leonard, and he tells us not just to ask for small things, but to make sure you ask for big things, for big things, because the Mass is the big thing. The Mass is, is the place where the sacrifice of Christ is renewed, represented, and where we offer Christ to the Father. The Father's looking down and sees Christ, and then our little petition, or our big petition, um, it's, uh, he can, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's in a good place. If it's there, united to Christ. If it's just us holding it up to the Father, maybe it can seem very small. But when it's very close to Christ, then it takes on a whole new, a whole new thing. I just want to encourage you because sometimes we can, we can wonder even in, in our hearts, like, can I even ask God big things, you know? Do I have the confidence or am I, is my unworthiness a hindrance to asking big things of God? This is what he says. He says, Oh, my dearest God, too well I recognize myself as unworthy of thy favors. I feel unworthy before God. I confess my supreme unworthiness. I am unworthy. And that because of so many and so grievous sins, I deserve not to be heard. But how shall thou be able to refuse attention to thy divine Son, who on, who on the altar prays for me and offers to thee in my behalf his life and his life and his blood? And that's something to think about when we're praying the Mass is that we're uniting to the sacrifice of Christ. And when we put our petitions there with him, for sure the Father will want to hear them because he loves his Son. He loves us, of course, right? But, uh, but, but our petitions take on a whole new value the closer they are placed um, to the crucified Christ. And so let's pray a lot during this Mass. And let's try to think of many things and, and that we want to pray for and ask for and put them on the altar. Small things and big things because God is, is, is much bigger than the biggest petition we have. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the